All right, this will be a fire service demonstration on the Otis Series 5 elevator. So here's your fire service key. Put this in and turn it on. Now the elevator is going to recall down here to the first floor. You can hear the buzzer going off. Here it is. The light turns disabled. You can see the fire hat will turn on. Now you open this. I think it's this way. It's in this, this way. And here's your fire service cabinet. Take this out. Put your fire service key in here and turn it on. On. I'd like to take that out. It's a little hard. i actually leave it on there for now. I can press 2. Say you don't want to go to here, you can press call cancel. And it will cancel the call. Now we're going to go to 2. Like press and hold the door closed button. If you let go, the door reopens. And that will, that will close the door. And here we go. Let the door not open. To open the door, you have to press and hold the door to the open button. If you let go, it's like in case, in case you see flames outside, you can let go and the door will close. Now we open the door again. Now one. Press and hold door close. And here we go back down. Watch this. If you press two, wait. We can go straight up without the door opening. I've already used this button up here. Oh, that's not, okay, that's, that's not a button. We we'll use these down here then. I say you want to send us down to another firefighter. You turn this off. And now we're back in phase one. Now the elbow will automatically go down to the first floor. The door will automatically open. Right? And now we'll close this. Put this in. Take it out. Call button still disabled. Now you put this in. And then there, there we go. Turn us to, turn us to the bypass or reset, then off. And now the elevator is back in normal service. So watch it go. There it goes. And that will be it.